What? What's going on? Oh, man. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Jameer Pond. And shout out to BrooklynButter.com for giving me this platform. Now, I know I missed you guys last month. We were going to do this whole Trump thing. It just wasn't working for me. I didn't know how it was going to come together. But let me just give you the general message from the people. Just give you a wrap up of what we we're going to talk about. Fuck Trump, fuck Trump, fuck Trump, fuck Trump, fuck Trump. That was just the general message of what was going to happen last month. So uh, shout out to the people who are mobilizing and getting together and saying, hey, we don't want to take this anymore. All right. So before we get into what's going on this month, we can't help but to acknowledge <sighs> rest in peace to the diplomats. Ah! First the fat boys break up, now this. It make me emotional, cause I felt like I could have done something, but I. Bird game for life. <laughs> we love you, Cam, Jim, Jewels, Freaky Ziki, and the other miscellaneous members of the diplomats. Ruga. What are we talking about this month? Of course, we have to get into Valentine's Day. Every year it sneaks up around us. The 14th is damn near here, and a lot of y'all ain't buy gifts yet. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give y'all the do's and don'ts of gift giving for Valentine's Day. Hit it right now. Pat. Now, every year around this time in February, you got men running like chickens with their heads cut off, trying to get an adequate Valentine's Day gift for a young lady or their mom or special somebody in their life. But here's the thing. Women, y'all can give gifts too. Yeah. Hell yeah. What about the brothers on Valentine's Day? What about us? All right? Y'all need to start getting stuff for us. What, pray tell, may you ask? Do we want... Well, we, we, we simple. Blowjob is the majority, all right? So get into that. That's number one. And that's definitely number two and three and four as well. I want it that way. But the fifth thing, we want something that comes from the heart too. We understand that women take precedent during Valentine's Day, I get it. Y'all wanna feel special, like we don't make y'all asses feel special every day. Whoa. I'm into getting massages, all right? I need a massage, I like to take care of my body too. Let's get that popping. Think of things outside the box. We just don't want the drawers. Imagine you waking up on Christmas, seeing a pretty package with nice ribbon on it. It, it got a beautiful card, and it's the same socks you had six years ago. We don't want that shit. Just like dick ain't acceptable Valentine's Day gift enough for you, y'all want diamonds and whatever kind of crazy shit women want these days, we want the same shit. You're dead ass. I'm dead ass. Valentine's Day comes around once a year, y'all. So you gotta make whatever gift you get popping. Here's a test for men. Men, we need to listen better, all right? We need to listen. We need to pay attention throughout the year. Because there's going to be a lot of darts that women throw that we're supposed to catch. We don't even know we're supposed to catch them. You know what? This is a nice bag right here. Every time we come to this store, I say, hey, that's a nice bag. I'm just saying, this bag, this the bag, all right? So I know it's hard, but actually, Pay attention to what your woman is saying. Now, along with a great gift, it's all about presentation. You may not have the most expensive gift, but if it's rolled out the right way, women will take that shit and run with it. I love that shit. I'm talking about you gotta have the roses. Shout out to my man DJ Ren and Prince Fame. Back in the day, we had this no need to skip CD. Basically, you just, you don't have to skip. They got all the R&B tunes. I would try to last throughout the whole tape during sex, get to about number seven. That's okay, all right? Don't judge me. Well, yeah, we're shit. She don't do nothing. Get a nice bottle of champagne or wine or cognac if she if she from Brownsville, okay? Get some honey. You get things like that to help set the mood because it's all about the presentation. Now, for the men out there that are like, yo, Jamil, why I gotta even have a Valentine's Day? You know what I'm saying? Why I even gotta go through this? I got something for you too. Before Valentine's Day, turn hotel. We must internalize the flatulation of the matter. If you don't want to have a Valentine's Day, 
you just start becoming a 5 percenter right off the bat. So what you mean to tell me, sister, is that you would equate I love to a fat white baby with an arrow and a diaper? Huh, 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 huh. All first verse, all first verse. Understand that a consumer holiday won't equate the love that I have for you. All first verse, all first verse. For who? For... And if your woman's smart enough, she'll smack the shit out of you. Here's the point. You put in the effort, right? Fool this man! No! Okay, so that wraps it up for me this month. I want y'all to have a wonderful and safe Valentine's Day. I'm out for BrooklynButter.com. This has been his voice. Peace! Mmm! Dipset, all day.